FeatureCam 2011 is going to perform faster for you. It's going to save you programming time in front of the computer, saving you money. Hi, my name is Tom McCullough, and my colleague Federico Libertini and I would like to take a few minutes to talk to you about some of the exciting new improvements in FeatureCam 2011. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice when you open FeatureCam 2011 is that the entire user interface has been upgraded with new icons and images that are easier to identify, making the product easier to use, more pleasant to use. FeatureCam 2011 now supports the 64-bit computers that you've probably been buying over the past couple of years. Not only will this give you a performance enhancement for FeatureCam 2011, but you'll also be able to program much bigger parts than before. Another new functionality in FeatureCam 2011 2.5D is the ability to index your large parts that exceed the machine travel limits about the z-axis. It allows you to program your parts in place or program your features in place and machine them at different orientation by either entering an appropriate value or by picking a machining location in the graphics window. You can also simulate the toolpath and check for gouges with machine simulation. Now one of the most important new features of FeatureCam 2011 is the automatic deburring. It's an enhancement to our feature recognition that allows the product to automatically identify all the sharp edges in your part and deburr those sharp edges automatically. There's no other CAM system in the world that supports automatic deburring quite as easy as FeatureCam 2011. Stock Models is a new functionality that allows you to save programming time and machining time by automatically clipping the toolpath to the areas where the material exists. It's extremely easy to use and allows you to create a stock model from an existing operation and apply it to another. You can build your stock models from a block, from a solid or an STL, or from sea level roughing operations. This also allows you to make stock models from different setups and is extremely useful for index four or five axis parts where you may want to rough from the top and then come back from the side at any angle. It could be 90, 60 degrees, whatever you want to do, and then apply the stock model to the new operation in the new setup. Let me talk about one of our capabilities for turning in FeatureCam 2011. We've included a new finish style of turning that we call no drag turning. And it's going to give your parts a better surface finish, and it's going to save wear and tear on the tool, saving you money on tooling over the course of the year. Federico and I have enjoyed spending some time sharing with you some of the exciting new capabilities in FeatureCam 2011. To learn more about these capabilities and others, please visit us at delcam.com.